Hi, Miss Janine here. Time for another puppet post. Today's story is a classic older story called The Monkey and the Crocodile. So the story starts like this. Once there was a monkey and the monkey lived in a tree and from his tree, he could see an island and on the island, there was a mango tree. Oh, I wish I could get there to eat those mangoes. Oh, those mangoes look so good. But unfortunately, there was water between the monkey and the island, and the monkey did not know how to swim. Well, one day, there happened to be a crocodile swimming by, and the crocodile heard what the monkey said. And the crocodile had something he too would like to eat. Can you guess what that would be? Yep, he wanted to eat that monkey. So when he heard the monkey say how he wanted to go to the island, the crocodile came up with an idea. He swam right up and he said, hey, uh, monkey. Oh, a crocodile. Yeah, I heard your wish to go across to the island. I'm an excellent swimmer. I would love to give you a ride to the island. Well, had the monkey been thinking with his head instead of his stomach, he would have said instantly no. But unfortunately, he could see that mango and he wanted it so much. He said, okay, and he climbed down the tree. All right, just climb onto my back, said the crocodile. So the monkey climbed onto the crocodile's back and the crocodile started swimming. Suddenly, halfway to the island, the crocodile went down into a deep dive, whoa, under the water. And when he came back up, <coughs> hey, said the monkey, you almost drowned me. Exactly so, said the crocodile. I'm going to drown you and eat you. Well, lucky for the monkey, he started thinking with his brain and he said, oh no. I know, you don't want to be eaten. No, here's the problem. I left my heart back there in my tree and that is the most delicious part of me. You left your heart in the tree? That's right. Oh my. Well, it'll be an honor to be eaten by a noble beast such as you. So um, go ahead and eat me. Wait a minute. You left your most delicious part in the tree? Exactly so. I guess you could take me back to the tree and I could go get my heart. Then I could come down and you could eat me. As I said, it would be an honor to be eaten by such a noble beast as you. You left your heart in the tree? That's what I said. All right, fine. I will take you back to your tree. So the crocodile started swimming back toward the monkey's tree. As soon as the monkey was close to the tree, he leaped off the crocodile's back and scurried up to his tree and said, ha ha, I had my heart with me all along. What, said the crocodile, you tricked me. And he swam off. Well, the monkey was a very clever little animal and he realized that it wasn't very wise to stay in his tree house because that crocodile sooner or later would come back to get him. So he decided to move and one day he went off exploring the bank of the water and he discovered a place where there was a rock and if he jumped on the rock, boop, he could jump off the rock, zip, onto the island where the mango tree was. Yay! And so he moved to a tree near where that rock was. And every day the monkey would jump out of his house and land on the rock, boop. And then he would jump zip, up to the mango island and zip, up to the tree where he would spend his day eating mango. And then each night he'd jump, come out of the tree, jump on the rock and back to his house. Well, this went on for days, but then one day 
Can you guess what happened? The crocodile happened to be swimming up just in time to see the mango jump on the rock and jump into the tree. Hmm, said the crocodile. That looks interesting. And he stayed hidden and watched. And he saw just as it was getting late, the monkey jump out of the mango tree onto the rock and back up into his tree. Ha <laughs> ha, I've got him this time, said the crocodile. And so the crocodile waited till the next day when the monkey jumped on the rock and up onto his tree and started eating his mangoes. And very quietly, the crocodile swam up and placed himself right on top of the rock. Now that evening, as the monkey was getting ready to come back, he thought, there's something wrong with my rock. It doesn't look right. So being a clever fellow, the monkey called out, good evening, rock. Ha, said the crocodile, that monkey thinks I'm stupid. He thinks that I'm going to say something. Say, rock, why aren't you talking to me tonight? You talk to me every other night. Uh-oh, said the crocodile. Maybe that's, this is some sort of a magic rock. Maybe I better say something. But what does a rock sound like? Hmm. I'm not sure about you tonight, rock. <coughs> Good evening. Wait a minute. That's not your voice, Rock. Who's on the rock? Ha <laughs> ha, it's me, Crocodile, and I have you this time, Monkey. For you see, I am here, and when you jump on the rock, I'm going to eat you. Oh, all right. Well, like I said before, you are a noble beast, and it's a very noble way to die. So I guess you might as well open up your mouth, and I'll jump right in. Whoa. This is easier than I thought it would be. Okay, he said. So the crocodile opened his mouth wide. But when he opened his mouth wide, the monkey knew a secret about crocodiles. When his mouth is open wide, his eyes are shut. So the monkey took a flying leap, landed right on the back of the crocodile and bounced right off zoop, onto his new home. And he climbed to the top of the tree and said, I tricked you again. You tricked me again, said the crocodile. Well, this time the crocodile was so mad that he swam off, zoop, never to be seen again. As for that monkey, well, he decided that he didn't need to be jumping onto the island every day. He just moved to the island. So now there is an island with a mango tree. And living in that mango tree is one very happy, very chunky monkey. And that is the story of the monkey and the crocodile. Thank you for watching. See you next week for a new story. Bye everyone.